Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. <laughs> Our next guest is an actress, writer, producer, dancer. She just does it all. But she is perhaps best known for her role as Drusilla on the iconic soap opera The Young and the Restless that I watched all my life. Now she's in the director's chair with a powerful story about a serious issue plaguing our country, the opioid addiction crisis. Take a look. She has everything a person could possibly desire and she turns to drugs. I'm not a junkie. It's okay. I've had just about enough. Whatever. Jelly! Well, you did that without me, how dare you! She's my daughter too, don't forget. I love you, Mom. I love you more, sweetheart. Mm. Please welcome Victoria Rowell. Yes. The legendary. The legendary. Know, right? Yes. Wow, yes. uh, yeah, it's great to be here. <laughs> oh my God. Great to be here. And I have a string bean. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> and I had to take some. Real women eat. Mm. You gotta you gotta get you gotta get the string bean. You gotta have it all going on. Yes. 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 Um, you know, first of all, you know, we, we talk about the iconic role of you on The Young and the Restless. And, you know, for me, it's personal because that was my very first acting gig when I first moved to L.A. in 2002 was The Young and the Restless playing opposite you and Eric Braden. Mm. And I was so, you know, it's like to see full circle. You, I mean, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm giddy. I'm like Lily Sorcerer. <laughs> <right now. laughs> <laughs> a lot of us were raised on, you know, uh, the stories. I mean, do you get stopped everywhere you go? Do people still yell out, Drusilla? And like, know, they do that to you? So? No matter what I do. And no matter who I'm working with, mm -hmm. uh, people will call out, hey, Drew. Um, <laughs> but it's a special kind of thing. Uh, people know that character. Yeah. She represents something, not only here domestically, but internationally. Mm -hmm. uh, I receive the hugs. I answer to Drew right. in the airport when the cleaning ladies see me going to the bathroom. <laughs> Drew? I'm like, just a second now. Let me come on out. But um, right. yes. it's, it's a wonderful thing that a character can have that kind of traction yes. um, and, and mean something to, yep. to people, that it is possible for you to pull yourself up. Absolutely. And, and right. And so many times you hear the stories of women in front of the camera. Um, but how, has the, how have things changed since Young and the Restless for women behind the scenes? I think significantly. Right. There are more platforms, of course, with Me Too movement now. Mm -hmm. um, I've always endeavored to write and direct. Mm -hmm. um, I was given very little opportunity in Hollywood uh, with 22 years under my belt collectively mm -hmm. with Viacom and CBS um, and Sony. Uh, but now I'm writing my own content. I have been writing my own content. And most recently, Jacqueline and Jilly, um, a movie which we just saw um, in six-part series that will launch on December 6th mm -hmm. on UMC TV. Mm -hmm. um, we have a wonderful launch at the historic Lincoln Theater in Washington, D.C. Nice, on nice, December 10th, yeah. free to the public, mm -hmm. um, about opioid addiction mm -hmm. in a well-heeled black family from Virginia, starring Richard Brooks, uh, Nico Austin Smith, Daphne Reed, myself. Mm -hmm. And I got to direct and executive produce it. Amazing. Fabulous. Well, Victoria, Amazing. speaking of awareness, and, and I'm glad that you're bringing awareness to the opiate crisis, you're also um, lending your celebrity to foster care. Um, you've been doing it for over 20 years. Why is this important to you? It's, I grew up in foster care, mm -hmm. um, 18 years in foster care. I work with a group here called the Carrie Still Pitts Home. Mm -hmm. um, I love Carrie Still Pitts and the work they do. The oldest group home in the nation, 100 and over 130 years old. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. uh, May 4th, we'll have our annual luncheon here, so watch out for that. Okay. Um, I also want to add that the opioid addiction crisis um, has uh, unfortunately affected youth. Um, and has caused youth to go into foster care. Mm. So uh, we have to remember May is National Foster Care Awareness Month and um, we need to do all that we can as a community. We can't just lean into prayer only, mm -hmm. Absolutely. but we need to support each other uh, and family members. Talk about it. Don't be ashamed of it. Um, but, but check us out on UMC TV December 6th. Uh, for Jacqueline and Jilly, <laughs> and of course, my third season of The Rich and the Ruthless yes. coming yes. Oh, yes. Yes. oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. yes. That's a wonderful so far. Well, with, with Jacqueline and Jilly, why was that story so important for you to tell? You know, I, I saw this crisis mushrooming. I started writing it in 2006. Um, I was able to uh, co-write this project mm. with Patricia Cuffey Jones mm -hmm. and yes. Joyful Drake. Um, and it was important to me to write a story about a family, uh, three generations of women, two, uh, you know, uh, dreams shattered, mm. one accidental addiction. A lot of opioid addiction is uh, 
predicated on an accidental addiction. People mm. go into the hospital for surgery, right. they're sent home with nine pills. Well, I'm glad you're explaining And they don't understand the word opioid. Addicted. They mm. People don't know that word. Addicted mm. to pharmaceutical Thank you. medications prescribed, yes. and then they turn to heroin. Mm. And the wow. heroin addiction is turning now to an increase in, in AIDS. Wow. Um, wow. And so we have to understand that this crisis is serious. Wow. So uh, we need to be vigilant. Yeah. When we have family members and friends that are going in for surgery, make mm -hmm. sure that they're no, not overprescribed these powerful opioids. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Victoria, we thank you so much for being with, yes. with us you. today. And Jacqueline and Jilly premieres on the Urban Movie Channel on December 6th.